you can have perfect eyesight and still walk into door frames. You can train hard, stretch daily, eat right, and still feel clumsy, off balance, or disconnected from your own body. The real issue isn't in your muscles, it's in your brain. But here's the part no one talks about. Brain decline doesn't always start in your head. It starts in your feet. Every step you take sends data from over 200,000 nerve endings in your feet straight to your brain. That's how your body stays balanced, aware, and coordinated. But most shoes today block that communication completely. Thick soles, narrow toe boxes, and heavy cushioning numb your feet's ability to talk to your brain. When that happens, everything upstream starts to break down. Your posture collapses. Your breathing shifts. Your stress control weakens. Even your focus and memory start to fade. If that sounds familiar, if you've ever felt off balance or foggy for no clear reason, comment footbrain below. You might be dealing with a neurological shutdown that started right from your shoes. And today on Health Inset, I'll show you exactly how to reverse it, step by step, starting from the ground up. If you're interested in this topic, hit the like button, subscribe, and type interested in the comments. And I will give you a heart. Footwear was never meant to be a neurological problem. It was supposed to protect us from sharp objects and rough ground, not silence our sensory system. But somewhere along the way, shoe companies turned that idea into a business model. They built entire marketing campaigns around the promise of safety, comfort, and performance. So, parents slip soft, cushioned shoes onto toddlers before they even take their first steps. Schools require them. Offices demand them. Even gyms, the one place built to train the human body, ban bare feet. We've been conditioned to believe that more padding means better protection. But more padding also means less information reaching your brain. And when your brain stops receiving feedback from your feet, your entire sense of balance and movement control begins to fade. The irony is that this is happening slowly, over years, so no one connects the dots. If you've ever looked at your posture in the mirror and thought, something feels off, you're not imagining it. Your brain might literally be running blind. If that realization hits you right now, hit the like button. It helps push this message out to more people who need to wake up their nervous system. Your foot isn't just a piece of bone wrapped in skin. It's one of the most advanced sensory organs in your entire body. It holds 26 bones, 33 joints, more than 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments, and around 200,000 nerve endings constantly feeding information to your brain. That information, pressure, texture, temperature, movement, creates a feedback loop called proprioception. It's your body's sixth sense, the one that tells your brain where you are in space without you having to look. Think of it like your internal GPS. Every time you move, that signal keeps your brain updated on what's happening below you so it can adjust posture, stabilize your joints, and keep you balanced in real time. But when you wrap your feet in thick soles, rigid arch supports, and narrow toe boxes, you interrupt that signal. Your brain doesn't stop listening, it just starts getting fuzzy, delayed information instead of a clear, sharp feed. Over time, your body begins to compensate. Your knees twist, your hips tilt, your spine adjusts. Each compensation pulls you a little further out of alignment. It's a slow, invisible process that eventually shows up as stiffness, tension, fatigue, or pain you can't quite explain. Most people assume that's just getting older. It's not. It's your brain losing feedback from the ground. If that makes sense now, type wake up feet in the comments so this video reaches more people who need to reconnect their nervous system before the damage spreads. Every thick sole dull sensation. Every raised heel shortens your tendons. Every arch support replaces a muscle that's supposed to be working. And when your muscles stop working, your foundation starts collapsing. Modern shoes were designed for comfort, but comfort has a hidden cost. The more padding you add, the less your feet can feel. The less they feel, the weaker they get. And when your feet go silent, the rest of your body takes over jobs it was never meant to do. Your knees absorb extra shock. Your hips twist slightly to stabilize. Your spine bends and rotates to keep you upright. Bit by bit, your alignment shifts until pain becomes your new normal. That's why so many people deal with chronic plantar fasciitis, stiff hips, knee soreness, or lower back pain and think it's just age. It's not age. It's adaptation. Your body is compensating for shoes that stole your sense of ground. And while companies market supportive designs as the solution, 
that very support is what keeps your feet weak. It's a slow trade-off between comfort today and dysfunction tomorrow. If you've ever noticed your balance getting worse or your feet feeling tired for no reason, hit like right now. It helps this message spread to people who think their pain is just age when it's really disconnection. You can't fix this overnight, but you can rebuild it step by step. The goal is to wake your feet back up and ret rain that communication line between your feet and your brain. Start small. Spend 10 to 15 minutes a day walking barefoot on different surfaces, grass, sand, gravel, even carpet. Each texture stimulates those dormant nerve endings and begins to restore your natural balance system. Then, start transitioning into minimalist footwear. Look for shoes with zero drop soles, wide toe boxes, and flexible construction so your feet can move and feel freely again. Don't rush the switch. Add about 15 minutes of barefoot or minimalist time each day and let your body adapt. Use a lacrosse ball to roll under your arches for a minute or two per foot to improve blood flow and release stiffness. Do simple drills like toe yoga, towel scrunches, and calf raises to reactivate the small muscles that stabilize you. It's normal to feel a little fatigue in your feet or hips at first, that's your nervous system waking back up. Over time, you'll notice a different kind of strength building, one that connects through your legs, hips, and even your breathing. If you're serious about fixing your balance and rebuilding your foundation, comment reset below. That tells me to make a follow-up video showing my full daily foot-to-brain activation routine you can do in under 10 minutes. Even if you rebuild strong, flexible feet, your body can still feel slightly off. You can walk better, balance better, and still feel tension that doesn't go away. That's because strength alone isn't enough if your alignment is broken. Think of your body as a chain of links. Every link, your ankles, knees, hips, spine, and head, depends on the one below it to stay balanced. Posture isn't about standing tall or forcing your shoulders back. It's about how every joint stacks naturally on top of the other, creating a vertical line of support from the ground up. When your feet collapse inward, your knees follow. They rotate slightly, your hips shift forward or twist out, and your pelvis tilts. Then your spine compensates by curving to keep your eyes level with the horizon. It's your body trying to protect you from falling, but it comes at a cost. Over time, your brain stops recognizing that misalignment as a problem. It normalizes it. So, what started as a small imbalance in your foot becomes your new normal. That tiny tilt in your hips or forward lean in your head changes everything. It affects how your joints absorb impact, how your muscles contract, and even how your lungs expand. When your rib cage collapses from poor posture, your diaphragm can't descend properly. You start taking short, shallow breaths through your upper chest instead of deep, full breaths from your belly. That shift might sound small, but it traps your body in a constant low-level stress mode. You see, shallow breathing keeps your body slightly on alert, it raises cortisol, increases muscle tension, and lowers oxygen delivery to your brain. And when your brain gets less oxygen, your clarity, focus, and emotional stability all take a hit. That's why poor posture doesn't just cause stiffness or back pain. It causes fatigue, tension, irritability, and brain fog that can last all day. Most people don't connect the two, but posture is how your nervous system reads your environment. A collapsed body signals stress. An aligned one signals safety. Fixing it starts with awareness. You don't need special equipment. You just need a pause. Every hour, take two minutes to stand barefoot and check your alignment. Feel your feet parallel and grounded. Unlock your knees. Balance your hips directly under your shoulders. Stack your ribs over your pelvis, and gently draw your chin back so your head sits naturally above your spine. Don't force it, just feel it. The moment you find that alignment, something shifts. Your breath deepens, your shoulders drop, your chest opens, and your mind quiets just a little. That's your nervous system recognizing safety again. If you tried that just now and felt that small wave of relief, comment aligned below. It helps push this message to others who are stuck living with tension and low energy without realizing their posture is keeping them in survival mode. Misalignment doesn't just make you look off, it drains your brain's energy every second you're awake. When your skeleton isn't stacked correctly, your nervous system has to work behind the scenes, every moment, trying to keep you from falling forward. It's not a dramatic effort you notice, it's a quiet, constant one. Tiny stabilizer muscles stay partially activated all day burning through your brain's processing power without you realizing it. 
You go through life thinking you're just tired, but what's really happening is your nervous system is running a full-time balancing act just to keep you upright. Every slight tilt in your pelvis, every forward angle of your head creates tension that your brain has to manage. It's not laziness, it's overload. Those small adjustments might seem harmless, but they force your neck, shoulders, and core muscles to fire repeatedly, millisecond by millisecond, to hold your body in place. None of this shows up on your fitness tracker or your calorie counter. But it's there, in your fatigue, your cloudy focus, and that drained feeling that doesn't go away even after a full night's sleep. This is why people who slouch often feel exhausted without knowing why. Their bodies are burning energy in silence. When your posture collapses and your head shifts forward, it pulls your shoulders inward and compresses your rib cage. That compression restricts your diaphragm, the muscle that drives your breathing. The smaller your breath becomes, the less oxygen your blood can carry to your brain. And your brain runs on oxygen like an engine runs on fuel. Once that flow drops, your mind slows down. You lose clarity. Your focus fades faster. Your mood drops for no clear reason. Your body senses low oxygen as a stress signal, so it releases cortisol to wake you up. But that cortisol just creates more tension, which worsens your posture again. It's a feedback loop, less oxygen, more stress, worse posture, repeat. This has nothing to do with being out of shape. It's misalignment. You could have strong legs, a fit core, and still feel like you're running on low battery because your energy is being wasted on stability instead of performance. The good news is, you can change this fast. Half the solution is awareness. When you catch yourself slouching, simply stand tall. Open your chest. Unlock your knees. Let your shoulders relax naturally instead of forcing them back. Take one deep breath through your nose, down to your lower ribs, and exhale slowly through your mouth. You'll feel your heart rate drop and your focus sharpen almost immediately. That's your nervous system realizing it doesn't have to fight gravity anymore. If this explains why you feel tired all the time, hit subscribe right now so you don't miss the next health insert video. I'll be breaking down the exact body reset sequence that recharges your posture, breathing, and brain together. So your energy starts working for you, not against you. Your nervous system has only two main gears, fight or flight, and rest and repair. Everything you feel in your body, focus, tension, digestion, sleep, even mood, depends on which gear you're living in. The fight or flight mode is designed for survival. It keeps you alert when there's a real threat, floods your system with adrenaline, and diverts energy away from growth or recovery so you can react fast. The problem is, most people today spend their entire lives stuck in that gear without realizing it. There's no line chasing them, just constant notifications, tight deadlines, and years of shallow breathing that tell the body danger never left. It doesn't take a major event to keep your stress system switched on. Small, repetitive habits do it too. Mouth breathing while sitting, clenching your jaw at your desk, scrolling your phone with your head tilted down, all of it sends a subtle message to your brain that you're under pressure. Even how you train matters. Pushing through a workout with tight shoulders and held breath might feel like effort, but your body reads it as threat. So even when you think you're relaxing later, your nervous system doesn't buy it. It's like a computer running in the background, still processing danger. You tell yourself to calm down, but your physiology refuses to listen. That's why deliberate retraining is the only way to fix it. You can't think your way out of fight or flight, you have to breathe your way out. Start with simple breath work. Stand barefoot so you can actually feel the ground beneath you. Keep your spine straight but relaxed. Inhale slowly through your nose for 5 seconds. Feel your ribs expand in every direction. Hold that breath for 5 seconds. Then exhale slowly through your nose for 5 seconds, emptying the lungs completely, and hold again for 5 seconds before the next inhale. Do this rhythm for about 5 minutes a day. It may seem small, but that exact pattern activates your vagus nerve, the longest nerve in your body and the main control line for calm. When it fires, your heart rate drops, your digestion turns back on, your shoulders soften, and your mind clears. It's your body's built-in signal that says, you're safe. You can use this anytime, after a workout, during a stressful meeting, or before bed. It's not meditation, it's neuromechanical training. Over time, this becomes your new baseline. Your heart rate steadies, your breath deepens naturally, your thoughts slow down, and your muscles stop holding invisible tension. You start living from a calmer, 
stronger place instead of reacting from a survival state. If you're going to try this tonight, comment calm below. It tells me you're ready for the full nervous system reset video, where I'll guide you step by step through the breathing and posture sequence that reprograms your stress response in just 5 minutes a day, and helps your brain finally rest the way it was designed to. Every posture you hold sends a message to your brain. When your body collapses forward, your nervous system reads it as danger. When you stand tall, open your chest, and breathe fully, your brain reads it as safety. That's why posture is more than just how you look, it's a language your body uses to tell your brain whether it's okay to relax. When you live in a slouched position, your body keeps triggering mild stress signals all day long. Your heart rate goes up, your digestion slows down, and your muscles stay tight without you realizing it. But when you open your rib cage and align your head over your spine, your vagus nerve activates, your breathing slows, and your body finally shifts into rest and repair. That's how you ret rein your body to feel safe again. It's not about forcing confidence, it's about restoring physiological calm. The next time you catch yourself tensing your jaw or rounding your shoulders, pause and fix your stance. Exhale slowly. Drop your shoulders. You'll feel your system shift in seconds. That's not mindfulness, it's neurology. If you've ever felt constant tension or mental fatigue that meditation alone couldn't fix, hit like right now. It helps YouTube show this to others who are still trying to calm their minds without realizing their posture is keeping them stuck. When your feet, your posture, and your nervous system finally start working together, everything changes. Your balance feels effortless again. Your breathing deepens naturally without forcing it. Your brain feels sharper, calmer, more focused. The tension in your neck, the stiffness in your hips, the fatigue you thought was age, it starts to fade because your body isn't wasting energy fighting itself anymore. This is what it means to rebuild your foundation. You're not just fixing pain or posture, you're teaching your brain to trust your body again. That's why it feels different. It's not temporary relief, it's recalibration. You can walk, train, and even rest from a stronger baseline. And the crazy part is, it all started from your feet. This isn't a new fitness trick, it's returning to how the human body was designed to move. If you've made it this far, your brain's already ahead of most people. The next step is consistency. Keep checking your alignment, stay barefoot when you can, and keep training those neural pathways that connect your body to your brain. You'll start to feel energy coming back in ways you forgot were possible. If you're ready to take this seriously and want the full daily reset routine that combines all three systems, foot activation, posture drills, and nervous system reprogramming, comment brain reset below. That tells me to drop the full guided sequence next.